Pharisees, uh, I think you're doing a great job, Mr. Jones, as I've told you time and time again, I can relate to you. I came up with somewhat experience, somewhat similar to what you're having here, what you do here with your OICs and the 25,000 people in Wilson County, wherever they have been had they not had an opportunity to draw upon uh, your resources here in Wilson, North Carolina. We want to thank you. You know, I chair the Appropriation Subcommittee for the Natural Economic Resources of the State of North Carolina in the Senate. And I have to have a counterpart in the, in the House, and the, uh, the House is ruled. That we call them the other side, you know, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. the other side of the table, and uh, because they, their philosophy about helping people is somewhat different from what ours is. <clears throat> and uh, I've had a hard time convincing them about uh, uh, the nonprofits that we have. Uh, we have several of them, and that it, as they fall within our budget structure and uh, I have a hard time convincing them as to the needs of these nonprofits in the state of North Carolina and, and OIC was unheard of when I got there but uh, after I found out about OIC you got to know the people involved uh, they began to hear about the OIC and our budget deliberations and that's a long story but after some time they now have recognized that uh, and uh, they you are an accepted part uh, of our budget process and we're going to see to it that it continues uh, that way. And I, I tell you now, uh, they at least uh, not only uh, have uh, are they participating with us, but also now they want to come and see you. They want to take a look at what you're doing here. They've heard from me, and now they want, they don't believe what I've been telling them. They want to come and see for themselves. And so when we put that trip together, we'll let you know so you can have things fixed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, the great uh, French statement, mm. Alexis de Tocqueville, of mm. uh, the middle 19th century, he thought to himself, he, he was a very wise gentleman, a very good statesman in France, and he looked toward the fledging colony of the United States of America that he knew as such, and wondered why we had such met metric uh, rise in, 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 the, in there social services and other features of their government and what made them and how they rose to be such a great nation in a matter of, of a few years, uh, somewhat uh, possibly a hundred years or more uh, from that of a mere colony. So he came over and he took a look at us two or three times and he wasn't satisfied. He said he didn't see that much difference between us and the, his people in France or the British people or other people of the world. He came back a third time and he went into the churches of our land and he saw the worship of our people and, and wh wh who we depended upon and then he made the statement that uh, we were a nation of good people fearing God and that that's what made us great and as long as we did that, as long as we remained a people who were good people and who feared God then we would continue to remain as a great nation. I say to you today, we can echo his words, and, and that, that is us, and we thank you for what you're doing here in Wilson, North Carolina. Thank you.